Hi, my name is David John Sponheim, and what you're about to see is how to make an urban survival kit on the fly in less than 10 minutes. Starting with your clothes, okay? Now what I've done here is I've, I've pretty much double layered my clothing, triple layered my clothing, so that we have maximum clothes when you go out the door. Now, if you're traveling in a situation, you've got to be able to be mobile. And that means that you've got to be able to handle your clothes, keep them warm, and keep them on your body. Now, everybody's got a backpack. If you've got a backpack like this, this is the perfect urban survival kit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to pack it and what you need. Okay? Starting with the number one essential ingredient, water. You've got to have water. So what I've got here is one of these water bottles that filters on the fly. This will take swamp water and turn it into fresh drinking water. You gotta buy one of these. They're readily available at any survival store, any outfitter in America. Okay, put that in the backpack. Then you got, this is an essential thing. You got a kinetic flashlight. To be able to shake it up, you can get flashlight power anytime without batteries. Fantastic. Okay, then, it's absolutely essential that you have a cooking supply. I recommend getting Sterno. Okay? That goes in the base of your pack set. Matches, really important. That can go in the front of your backpack so it's easy to get to. Get a lot of matches. You're gonna need a cooking device, and I urge you to get something like this. This will actually turn into a frying pan. It gives you the ability to have a frying pan and a kettle all in the very same kit, okay? You can make a lot of things with this stuff. All right, that basically is the start of what you've got. You've also got a desperate need for a an air mask. This is a 3M N95 mask, which is recommended to protect against viruses. So in the event of a disaster, you're gonna need an air mask. It's really important you have at least one of these. You can put this in the side of the flashlight. All right, also, bring a washcloth because you're gonna to need to wash yourself. Cat washing is what you do when you're basically in a survival situation. You wet the washcloth and wipe yourself. It's great clean. You're also gonna need a, some sort of a Swiss Army knife, very essential. I'll throw that in a side pocket. And very vital, first aid kit. Any one of these is available at a local store. Put that in the front pocket so it's available with the matches. Okay, now I'm gonna show you some basic things you can buy at the store. These basic things were very affordable. Vienna sausages. I've got a pack of about 20 cans of these things. I put them in one of these priority boxes. I'm going to throw it right in the backpack, okay? Then, I think it's really important that you have a can opener, so get a can opener. And what I have is a can opener attached to a little spoon and a knife set. It's basically a, a fork and a knife all built into one little device. This is really important, and keep that in one of the side pockets so you can get to it. I also recommend carrying uh, LCD or an LED light that can go on your forehead, and it will help you get into a situation or out of a situation at night, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is show you some basic food items you can buy at any store, really cheap. Pork and beans, get this. This is really easy to, to cook, and it's, you can eat it right out of the can. Also, Pick up some salad dressing. Could be mayonnaise, ketchup, mayo mustard, anything. Even salad dressings like this. This is really important because sometimes you find leafy vegetables like dandelions and you have to eat it. It makes it a little bit more appetizing. I get these tomato sauces, which are lightweight and in plastic bags or metal, some sort of mylar bag. Really good. I got about four or five of these. We're talking top ramen. Get as much as you can. It's really light. You can go in the top. It's got a, a little food packet in it. It's actually for flavoring. I have about 20 packs in here, okay? Basically, this is how full my survival pack is so far. Then I urge you to get some tuna fish. Tuna fish is really high in protein and will get you through some rough situations. Open a can of tuna fish, put some condiments on it, and you're good to go. Then I also, that tomato sauce earlier, I recommend getting angel hair pasta. It is easy to make, really really thin, and it can cook very fast. You can use a small amount or as much as you need depending on how many people you're cooking for. 
and you want to get dried fruit. In this particular case, I got some dried blueberries. Great antioxidant, gets you going on the road. I also recommend any other canned food that you can find, and I recommend crackers of any sort. So we've got a box of, of these crackers that are whole grain, provide basic food supply in the event of a, a disaster. You're good to go, it's easy to eat, and you can usually buy these things at a wholesale food supply store, and you can put this right on top. I'm still within a time frame to get out of the house in the event of a disaster. Now, I did this with the intent of being able to carry this pack, so you don't want to make it too heavy, but I'll tell you, it's really important. you got to have a down sleeping bag. This is your urban survival kit. And you can carry this anywhere, anywhere you're at, in your trunk, in the back of your, your house, wherever you are, you're ready to go. I urge you to do this because if you don't do it, you'll regret not doing it. Now it doesn't have to be a big pack like this, it can be a smaller pack, but the bottom line is if you're prepared for survival in this situation, you're going to survive. You're going to be able to be one of the few to get through a very rough situation, an earthquake a tornado, a hurricane, a nuclear attack where you don't know where you're going to be underground or possibly any kind of uh, biological attack where you have to have air masks and protection. So I just did this in less than 10 minutes. You can do it too. I urge you to do this. And if I am your president in 2012, I will be preparing the FEMA regional locations with urban survival kits just similar to this They'll be able to be available to the American people in the event of a disaster. Preparedness is everything. Civil defense is everything. So I urge you to go check us out at americasthirdparty.com and find out how we're changing how America will respond in a disaster. Thank you. Check us out at americasthirdparty.com.